Introduction to MS Office MS Office Full form of MS Office is Microsoft Office Shortly we can say it is Office MS Office is not a single product It is collection of products It is a group of products Developed by Microsoft Each and every product is for a separate purpose. MS Office is a family of products or we can say it is a suit of products. The suit has MS Word, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint, Access, Publisher, Outlook, OneNote and Teams etc. Each and every application or each and every product is for a separate purpose. To do office related works or home related works or institution or any other organization related works, all these products are very helpful. To eliminate the manual work and to digitalize the content these ms office products are very useful we are using ms office in different organizations like finance healthcare education and many other in ms office we have products or applications like this MS Word. We can say MS Word is a word processing software or we can shortly we can say MS Word is a word processor uses to prepare documents. Documents means we can prepare letters, invoices etc. We can create them and we can edit them and we can save them and we can send them to the others or we can take printouts. Second product is Excel. This is a spreadsheet software. We can say Excel is electronic spreadsheet software. Users to organize and analyze manipulate the data in excel we will store the data we will calculate the data and finally we can take graphs of the data so next one is powerpoint this is a presentation software in this software we can prepare slides or presentations generally in meetings nowadays we used to present our expressions through powerpoint presentations so we can prepare effective presentations to tell others effectively what are the feelings what are the ideas we are going to present in this in that meeting next one is outlook this is an email and personal information management software personally we can maintain emails unlike gmail or other mail system personally we can maintain mails and addresses and contact details everything using this software next one is OneNote the name itself is telling for notes purpose we can take notes and we can store or we can share the notes Next one is Publisher, 
it is a dtp related software desktop publishing related software used for creating professional publications like uh, brochures preparation newsletters preparation and flyers etc next product is ms access ms access is a database management software we can say dbms software we can store the data in large way and we can manage the data using different kinds of database related activities initially we used to store the data in spreadsheets if the data is very large then we need to take ms access to maintain the databases and one more product is there teams it is a software to prepare for meetings virtual meetings and allows the user to chart and share files etc activities it is just like zoom like software or google meet like software apart from these eight products ms office also provides other softwares other cloud based softwares for different purposes in the coming sessions we will learn one by one of these softwares first we will learn about ms word how to prepare documents and all okay